Hey guys, it's Dr. Josh here. Today I want to talk about an interesting paper I came across that talks about the actual reliability of MRIs. So everyone that has pain always wants to get an MRI, but is that something you should really, do you need an MRI? Uh, after you listen to this, you're gonna be like, no, they're pretty much useless. They justify surgery and the vast majority of pain conditions do not require surgery. They're non-surgical at all. So listen to this. There was a 63 year old female. She had low back pain and a little bit of radiating symptoms um, on her right side. So what they did with the study is they sent her for 10 different MRIs at 10 different MRI centers. So that means she got 10 different MRIs and 10 different radiologists wrote up reports about what they saw on the pictures. Now get this. There were 49 distinct findings that were potentially related to her problems, right? But here's where it goes crazy. There was no consistency across the board from all of these 10 reports. Only one finding was consistent in nine of the reports, not in the 10th one, right? 32% of these 49 uh, distinct interpretive findings only appeared once across all 10 reports, right? Two reports, uh, report, two exams reported a disc herniation in all five lumbar segments. One exam didn't report any herniations, so huge discrepancy there. Uh, two exams reported central canal stenosis, and then uh, two didn't, so, and then the others it just wasn't present. Four exams reported nerve root impingement at three segments. Five exams did not report any nerve root involvement, and no interpretive finding was reported in all 10 exams. So, the crazy thing is, right, all of these pictures showed there was no consistency among amongst what the radiologists saw on the actual MRIs. It's really interpretive. It's, it's literally a human looking at a picture, trying to connect it with symptoms. And we know that pain is not associated with findings on MRI reports. They've done huge, huge studies that have proven this. Everyone has herniations, everyone has bulges, everyone has degeneration and most, the vast majority of people don't experience chronic long-term pain, even though they have those findings on MRI reports. So generally they're just incidental findings. They're not correlated with the pain you experience. So I've got a couple herniated discs in my back. I have no pain. I have patients I see every single day that have herniations in their back or their neck and they have no pain or symptoms. So you can have herniations, you can have bulges, you can have stenosis, you can have all these pictures and findings that, that uh, radiologists see on MRI reports and have absolutely no pain. So what does that mean? Well, it means that MRI reports, one, they're not reliable. They're, uh, it just comes down to the interpretation of a human looking at a picture that's static. It doesn't it doesn't correlate with how you move and how you function. And in, in the end, that's what matters. So what, what you should do instead of just going and getting an MRI when you have a little bit of pain or discomfort is find a physician that can perform a good hands-on manual physical exam, right? That physical exam can help to correlate with dysfunctions that are occurring that are causing you to, to have the pain that you're experiencing. And then you've got to find someone that has tools to actually correct and, and restore those dysfunctions, right? So that's where the tools that I have come into play. They're really effective at restoring the connectivity of our nervous system and, and restoring function when things aren't working well. And when that happens, we can get you out of pain and moving better. So MRIs, not so reliable, all right? Hope that gives you some good info.